Hello and welcome back to today's episode. Today we are going to be finishing off the gunslinger quests and for the first one... Hey buddy, stay here. stay here and don't die this time. You didn't see last time our horse died. Made a real pickle out of me. Anyway, let's get this over with. You Black Bell, I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from him neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right, get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now. Yeah, let's take him down, shall we? Let's see him fly. Boom. Huh? Oh. Thank you for the tip. Let's go boom. And badoom. I just got his hat off, not his face. Hey, I'm trying to shoot. There we go. Boom. Boom. Still more of you? I need to reload. Well, wow, good. Is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that live that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, oh, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm, same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. And I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> all right, we got Black Bell done with. We got plenty of new loot.
suppose we can pick up what we can while we wait for my loyal steed to show back up. My loyal steed that I've had for in-game less than a few hours. What was that? Was that a bird outside? No, my dog's, my littlest dog's barking at something. Weird. Alright, so. Time to end off this little quest with... Good old Emmett Granger. Shouldn't be that hard a deal. How much time do we got? Oh, that was only five minutes. I bet making our way there will take plenty of time, though. So, uh... Yeah. Back whenever I started this, I was kind of under the assumption that... Okay, one second. I'll be right back. My dog's, like, barking a lot, so I'm gonna go check on him. Make sure he's okay. I will be just a little prolonged. My my littlest dog fell into a little hole, so now I need to go grab him. <laughs> be right back. And I'm back. Wasn't expecting my dog to fall into a hole. But, uh, hey. I mean, now I'm half blinded because ah, it's so bright outside. Man. Well, anyway, two days away now from my birthday. I'm getting real excited and all whatnot. Ooh, a person. You shouldn't have. Hey, no, 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 no. Do that. I'm. Whoo! Hey, buddy. Well. But you don't stand in front of someone else's horse. Hey! Hold up a second. 
Yeah, well, take a few bullets to the back. Let me up on ya. Okay, let's calm down a little bit. Calm down. Okay, they calm. Well, I guess I got everything I need. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this horse with me then. I kind of already got all the things that I need, so might as well get going, right? Oh! Hey, this one feels faster than the last one. If anything else, I just like the color of it more with my current outfit. Because let's be honest, the black gunslinger needs a black horse. So I think I'm gonna skip the white Arabian this time. Unless I want to switch to the a balance of Buster Scruggs look, you know? <laughs> so wait, how long did it take for me to, uh... Took me another five minutes to get all my dogs in and then drag my dog in from his little hole he fell into. <laughs> Man. It's hard to think how stupid this dog is, like... Man. I can't believe he fell into our, like, here's what he fell into, right? So we used to have an above ground pool, right? But our backyard deck goes out to it. So yeah. But here's the funny part. Its walls are rotten, right? So it's kind of torn itself apart over the years. And the main thing is, there's some big holes in it, and it's kind of rotten out, so it doesn't hold any water anymore. We've taken all the liner out, or most of the liner out, and we're basically just waiting on, like, a time where we'd be efficient enough to rip the rest of it out, you know? But, here's the bad part about that. It's kind of annoying. What's this? Oh, a stable? Is that a rock? Oh no, that's a turkey. But I do need some work. I need. I do need to check up on my stable stuff. Yeah, let's uh, check in my horse. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Let's actually see what's in the stable. We have, ooh, Black Tennessee Walker. Pretty nice. But that's the one I got right now. Let's see what we can buy. We got a Kentucky Saddler. Not really the good one. A Black Morgan. And a, another Tennessee Walker. Mm. Not really the best, but, I mean... Yeah, this one will do well, I suppose. Upgrade. I've bred, handled, cared for, and oh, yeah, sure. Um, you ask you know, I'll go with my classic look, wherever it is. I hear it is. There we are. There's a good saddle. Saddle bag. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Stirrups. Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. Ooh. 
Yeah, it actually tells you what they do at the bottom now. That's something. That's a good choice. High quality. I mean, I guess that's fine. So wait, what is? I guess saddlebag does nothing. Horns? Oh, doesn't seem to do anything. Blankets? Doesn't do anything. Bed rolls? I'm assuming doesn't do anything. That's the same one I used too. Yeah, I'll take that one. Brad? Appearances? Don't really need anything changed. Services? I don't really plan on naming you. Um, equipment! I do need this. No, not this. Horse provisions, I guess, maybe. Um, I was kind of under the assumption that this would be like the stuff where I get all that from, but I guess not. Okay. Well, anyway, my loyal steed, let's move onward and upward, maybe. Some direction. Okay. Well, at least we got all our stuff reset, back to normal. Was I wearing my mask? I'm not. Why am I not wearing my mask? There we go. Maybe it reset whenever I walked in. I'm not too sure, though, so... Let's just get back on to what we were doing. Okay. So how long did all that take? 17... So it's been about 20 minutes since we started this episode. How fun. <laughs> anyway, there's a thing that teaches you how to play poker in this game, which is fairly easy yet confusing at the same time because it works in like kind of two ways. Because it's hard to explain how it really works. Um, Because it's like randomly generated, but like the more radical of the moves you make, the higher your chances of success are. Because you can like, because that's the thing. Remedy, remedy, remedy. Um, give me something with a lot of oomph to it. That'll work. There you are. Shit. Whew, that was a bit closer than I'd like because I didn't get to cover. Whew. Well, there's some hair pomade and what looks like a money clip. Is that money clip? No, it's nothing. Oh well. Well. Let's see what's around here. They have some hat. Ooh, safe box. Oh, it's an ammo box. I'm sure, I don't mind some ammo. Oh, what's in there? We got pistol cartridges. I'll take it. Valyrian root? Um. Ooh, some salted meat, some bread chunks, coffee. I will gladly take all of this. I'll loot this fella too. Oh, fat boy, huh? Dead fat boy. Uh, stuff I don't need. Stuff I don't need. Oop. Ah, there, it's empty. 
Oh, I just got some repeater cartridges from something. There's some more repeater cartridges. Horse stimulant. I think I got everything I can. Oh, hold on, what's this? What's this? Kentucky bourbon. Ooh, we got some classical oats, canned vegetables. What else is over here? Some premium cigarettes I don't see. Um, it looks like I got everything in the area. Okay, back to what we were doing. Come on, horse, move. I haven't found a horse I liked yet, so we're just going to keep this little piece of junk. Excuse me. Anyway, we are now on our way to meet Emmett Granger. Half tempted to rope ya. Come on. I need to be a little faster here. Or I'll just straight up lose you, that's fine. Okay, so all we have to do really is follow the train track. Oh no, wait, we're going to Granger, not this guy. <laughs> My bad. I was almost going to go do Swanson's quest. Anyway, let's get this over with. Okay, my loyal steed. Oh, pigs. Sweet. I'm trying to tell my horse to stay. Hello, Mr. Granger. Good to meet you. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Get out of here and start my time. I really don't like this fella. It's just generally rude. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children too. Animals. I even killed rocks. He even kills rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned. Yeah. This loon. I guess I'm gonna mute so you can listen to his manic raving. When you scare. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming on. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Very folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. If I fought a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you. Like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> Okay, I cleaned up your mask. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. 
I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. A killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... you know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick. Oh, I know who well I'm trifling with, Granger. You walk away. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. You. There we go. There you go. No. No. No! You did not! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. Eh, sure wasn't the last thing I'll do. Sorry, Mr. Granger, but I want to take a peek at this. So it's... I thought I already did that. No, give me the gun. No, stop, Arthur. Stop playing with dead bodies and take the gun. I want to look at it. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, aren't I? Let's see how you are. So it's... Eh. My gun is still better. How surprising. Okay, so now I need to take a picture of this dead guy. Ah, That's what you get, nerd. Anyway, back to my horse then. Suppose we ought to go tell Callaway and all them we're done for, eh? How much time? Now, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and we're going to pick up in the next episode at that place, okay? Thank you all, and see ya. Deuces.